Good evening, everybody. High school football season is here. Let's start with the Milan Jamboree. It's a host school in Knox County. Milan and Green, nice fake, and Kevin D. Reich takes it outside for the first down. Milan wanted to run left. It's Curtis Tyler who picks up a couple of yards. It's going left one more time. However, Milan would not score on their series of 12 plays. Knox County's no huddle offense was effective. Donovan Edwards finds Royce Poor for a nice gain. Then it's Brody Mowbray who takes it inside. Here's both coaches with their thoughts. Oh, I thought there's good effort. I mean, we made a few mistakes and things were just easily correctable stuff. Uh, you know, two you know, good hard-nosed teams go right at each other and didn't give each other a whole lot. Uh, we're through one session so far. I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, we had those mistakes, but the mistakes that we did make were uh, guys going fast, and that's an easy thing to correct. So um, we're excited. We're excited to keep on going and uh, hopefully improve today. Next up, it's a battle of counties, as it's Knox County and Putnam County. Putnam County in blue, Cody Quint will pick up a couple of yards as he takes it to the outside. Check out Chance Hendry. He's telling the coaching staff, take a chance on me. He won't go down. How about that? Now the Knox County defense, they love to gang tackle. Five Eagles are in on the stop on the play. You know what? I've got to remember not to change filters, but Knox County won't want to change this play. It's Mowbray with a big game. The Eagles offense is in mid-season form. Next up, it's Putnam County and Princeton. Putnam County in blue. Hey, does Cody Quint want this first down? Of course he does. Great effort. Nice gain, just like He's making a six-foot putt. This run might be better. It's Montana Schoonover who picks up the extra yards. And thanks, Fred. A big night in Marceline also for the annual Jamboree. The Macon Tigers getting some work in for the opener. And a nice crowd was on hand in Marceline. Macon taking on Salisbury. Craig Smith lofts it to the right corner, and John Murray hauls it in. Tigers would like to do that a lot this season. Salisbury would answer. This is shifty running back Jordan Clark, and he finds the end zone. Nice run, but Macon can run it too. Smith hands to Chris Little, and look at the power. Just bowling people over as he won't be denied. The score and nice effort from the Tigers. They'll open the season at home versus Palmyra on August 30th. A one final to pass along tonight. Moravia actually opened the season at Lamonia, and it was a tough one as they lose 82 to 14. Of course, it's always tough to open on the road, and I think the Mohawks will bounce back. Well, if you have scores during the regular season, you can send them to us three different ways. You can email them or text them. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, so if you have a score, please send it to us. Well, hey, turning to college football, Truman State also holding a scrimmage this afternoon at Stoke Stadium. And they like to air it out. Conrad Schottel finds Kurt Lloyd over the middle. And if some is good, more is better. Schottel goes to Lloyd again, and he gets bottled up. That could be a good combo this season. Here's speedy running back Ivan James, one of his many runs on the day. And no touchdowns today, but the special teams look good. How about this 51-yard field goal from Roger Howard? And the Bulldogs will open the season on Saturday, September 7th versus Southwest Baptist. 